world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, your family members, your peers, your mentors, your educators, and employers. And I also will speak to anybody in the community and finally talk about things that I'm passionate about. Now, before I uh, dive into uh, this morning's topic, I have two things to mention. Number one, if you click up here in the upper right-hand corner, this is a uh, video uh, from the TV show, The View. And the reason why I posted it is because um, a uh, celebrity by the name of Holly Robinson Pete was on there, uh, uh, February 14th, 2017, or Valentine's Day, talking about uh, her son's situation living with autism. And I just uh, thought it would be a really good topic to talk about. But first, I had a few things to mention. So, number one, uh, please be sure to check out my written blogs on WordPress.com. And you can find those under helloworld240.wordpress.com. That's helloworld240.wordpress.com. And these are scholarly and practical application type blogs. And I need to update those more often. I also wanted to mention that uh, we have an autism conference coming up uh, May 3rd and 4th in downtown Atlanta. And the whole objective is to make this autism conference uh, more autism friendly. And uh, we have a volunteer program called the ACE Ambassador Program, which uh, allows uh, self-advocates with ASD to volunteer. And my objective of that, of course, is to uh, see a volunteer program that is all run by people with autism uh, and then also uh, get them back out into the community. But uh, if you would like to know more, I would recommend that you check out the links that I have posted below. In the meantime, what I would like to do is uh, talk about the video that I saw on The View. So again, on February 14th, 2017, I was uh, sitting uh, just outside of the school cafeteria on campus at Georgia State University where I work and go to school when I uh, happened to uh, hear someone talking about autism on the show The View and I wanted to know if it was Tony Braxton and they said her name was Holly Robinson Pete. I uh, barely heard it but I ended up uh, tweeting about it because I was that excited and uh, I promoted uh, or uh, tagged Holly Robinson Pete and The View into several things. And I also uh, heard part of it, and I uh, heard Whoopi Goldberg uh, saying that we need to save as many kids with autism as possible. And so last week, uh, the fo last, uh, so last week, uh, or last Monday, I went and listened to the video uh, on YouTube, or, or rather I replayed the interview with Holly Robinson Pete and her husband, and they were talking about their son, RJ, who has mild autism like myself, and he's only 19 years old, and they were talking about uh, how the doctors thought he would never talk and that he would never do anything. Well, they have said that he can drive a car now and that uh, he's doing something with uh, some sports, some big sports industry, and that uh, they're really proud of him. But they were also um, talking about, or actually... But Whoopi Goldberg, in the meantime, was talking about how he's a special little boy. He's got to be careful with the cops out there. And uh, and yes, while I understand that, uh, that, black, that the police tend to run after those who are black, I really felt that your comment, Whoopi Goldberg, was uh, incredibly disturbing. And, and I'm going to throw this out there. Sorry, Whoopi. But uh, RJ is not a special little boy, and he's not exactly little. He's over six foot, and he's uh, growing, and most of all, he's not special. He's different, but not less. And I think that's what his parents are trying to do. They're trying to get him to contribute to the community. A second thing that they talked about uh, during uh, her interview was that... Uh, People with autism often have problems with the cops. And of course, uh, these days, the police do not show people any mercy. 
and they are especially yeah, the meanest towards kids with autism. And what I uh, heard them talking about was uh, trying to uh, prepare RJ for uh, uh, for an approach with the police. And they were they were trying to uh, train him and show him how to act or how to respond versus uh, what uh, they're concerned about with him putting his headphones on and ignoring the police and the police thinking that uh, he's being deviant or defiant or just completely ignoring them. And I wanted to talk about that too. So again, no whippy, uh, RJ is not a special little boy. He's just a person like everybody else. Anyway, I really think that it is very critical for uh, parents, teachers, and anybody in the community to be volunteering, to get together, to be uh, training and running uh, some sort of an education class for people with autism to learn how to approach police. And they need to bring in a law enforcement or, or, or law enforcement members to different autism centers or anywhere in the community that can help uh, do these practice runs so that these kids don't feel afraid of the police in the future. Because again, not everybody or not every law enforcement officer is going to have that special training. Now, I think it's really important if uh, someone with autism to be out there in the community, especially those that are uh, mild like myself, it would be good for them to wear a special bracelet that says, I have autism. Now, do I think that's sad? Yes. but it would probably alert the officers too. So anyway, I'm out of time. If you liked what I was talking about, please be sure to uh, click the like button and also be sure to comment below and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share this among your social media networks. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.